I don't want to create the impression that we are begging for a place at the table. We are not. But there are some best practices in this area, particularly in the oil and gas sector. And the model that we, we have studied and we have looked at, or the several models we have studied, show that the best, the ones that yield the best results are mo in managing oil and gas resources for the good of the country are models that emphasize an apolitical approach. That was opposition leader Barrett Jackdeo speaking about what his party would like to see take place in the oil and gas sector. Jackdeo explained that not only should the political parties be included in the discussions, but also members of civil society and interest groups. The former president said having local groups and institutions involved in the decision-making process for this sector would be good for Guyana. It would allow people to feel, to buy into this this model, the whole of the country to buy in to the model. And it would not require us having to change anything if the government or when the government changes. Shifting his attention to the plans to create a sovereign wealth fund, Jack Dio says by now government should have been able to set out certain principles enshrined in law and taken to parliament for it to be voted on. So we have been waiting for three years and now we have heard the president he woke up at the thing and said, we have to work on this. Forgetting that his government has promised it almost three years ago. So this, this, is, this is what is worrisome. There seems a, a, to be no movement forward. It's just the talk about, oh, we have to do this. You know, it's important for safeguarding the resources and there will be a transformation in the lives of the people. The opposition has already made it clear its position that it does not feel that Guyana was properly represented by the current government to get the best possible deal for its newfound resource. The People's Progressive Party has since called on government to renegotiate the production sharing agreement with ExxonMobil in an effort to secure more for Guyana and its people in future years. The opposition has also expressed willingness to support any motion made by the coalition government in the National Assembly to have the oil contract renegotiated with ExxonMobil. However, the opposition has noted that they are not prepared to make the first move, especially since they believe that it could be misconstrued that it wants to undermine private investment in the country. Research conducted by the Oil and Gas Governance Network, a group of financial analysts, accountants and economists, reveals that Ghana has sold its oil at US $29 billion below market value. Samuel Zignandon, The Evening News.